talking about Warhammer 40,000 Ultramarines Terminator. As you can see here, we have a departure from the normal McFarland boxes. And what I mean is this. Here we have one of the prior releases we can see in the Warhammer case. And you have the Warhammer logo and all of that stuff. But this is a new box. New design. We can see here on the side with the Terminator difference. And some artwork for the actual figure itself. Which is very, very nice. We see the Terminator on the side here. On this side we have the Terminator with the Omega symbol turned upside down. If you need the barcode, here it is. So as we look at this figure, fresh from McFarland Toys, we'll pop this guy on here and see that he's coming in at one pound, eight ounces. So let's get him out of the box oh, and see now how that we got him on the box. And one thing I will mention about the new boxes, they are awesome. You easy to remove the figure. You just open it up, pop the lid off and slide the figures out. No more of those little annoying clips, those plastic bands that used to surround the figure that you'd have to try to pull and cut. But now we look, we see, we now have cards with the Warhammer figures. And here we have the Warhammer figure. And we even have bios now for them, which is very, very nice. So please pause to read. So now that we're on to the figure itself, we see that it does come with the normal stand. Here, the Warhammer 40,000 stamp. He comes with this massive gun here. Double barrel with loads of ammo in it. And so as we look at the figure itself, we can see the normal looking Warhammer type armor with this massive headgear here. Shoulder pads and everything. Definitely a heavy looking mech. Hands are very big. And you'll notice one thing, mine definitely has a lot of ease of rotation and everything. I think it's very loose, coming straight out of the packaging. Yours might be different. But we can see the head here does rotate left and right. No up and movement. Very little up movement, I should say. And down movement. So as we look at the arms, they do rotate all the way around. They have this breakaway shoulder pad. So if you really wanted to get him to move that arm out, you can. But it is definitely a slide and maneuver kind of thing. And this is about as far as you'll get. As far as the elbows go, we get a full up and 90 degree movement. And... You get some rotation here at the bicep. Now the hand itself is solid. It does not move. It does not rotate. It is one big grabby hand. And as you can see, I do get lots of waist swivel here for an ab crunch due to my figure being a lot looser than it should be. Now, as far as the other arm is concerned, the normal looking hand, you can say these shoulder pads pop up. So you can get a little movement out. That is about as far as I get. The shoulder bend. But the wrist does rotate around. Now the shoulder pads, like I said, are on this little lever ball joint. If you can look in there and see that. It does come up and down. Now he does have a little bit of a waist swivel. But the top part here is definitely giving away for mine. As far as leg splits go, that is it. It has this huge, huge armature right here on top of the leg that are preventing it from doing any kind of splits. Now, forward and backwards, 
you get pretty good range of motion. And knee mends, you get that much. But the hip does rotate a little bit, or the legs at the top, so you do get a little bit of movement and rotation around. There is none at the knee. The ankles, however, are on a ball joint, so you will get a little bit of movement out of those. You do get the standard hole for the stand. Now, as far as this guy goes, he is a massive eight and a half inches tall, or 8.47, like the box says. So if I bring in the sergeant here, I can see how they look together. Awesome looking sets. Definitely will look good on your Warhammer 40k set. So, if you are looking for this or any other collectible that you might be interested in, use the links below to save some money at entertainmentearth.com. And until the next time, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.